How you going, you big bloody beautiful bastards? Here's me face. So the company Gillette that makes razor blades and shit have produced a video and they've uploaded that video to the web for people to give feedback on. So um, I thought I'd get involved and, and give some feedback on the video ad film on the whatever it's called. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at it. It seems like it's quite controversial. It's about masculinity or toxic masculinity and it's about gender uh, and, and shit like that, which let's not lie, usually on the internet conversations about femininity, masculinity, gender, they're usually very level-headed conversations like immigration and vaccine. I'm being sarcastic. Let's have a look. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Bullying. The Me Too the movement against sexual toxic harassment. masculinity. Is this the best a man can get? First impressions, I mean, that opening 10 seconds there, it's it's pretty uh, cinematic, which I don't mind. I don't mind when advertisers try to make something that's more than just a really kind of uh, corporate-y, clean-looking ad. You know, like Dove. Dove did that video with the Sheilas looking at the sketches of themselves a while ago. That was nice. I think Volkswagen has done a few that are quite long. There was the, the kid who was like Darth Vader in the Volkswagen ad. But Volkswagen have been cunts in recent times, cheating on the emissions tests and shit like that. Anyway, let's not go down that rabbit hole. Um, let, let's keep going. Give, give him a fair go. Give him a fair go. Is it? We can't hide from it. It's been going on far too long. We can't laugh it off. Who's the daddy? <laughs> yeah, what we watch on TV affects us. The, the way gender is portrayed on TV, I suppose, is the message here. Um, yeah, look at those reprobates. They remind me of me and my mates back in the day when we were 13, 14. We would watch Showgirls, that movie Showgirls, and every time my sister walked in, I had to turn the VHS off. And uh, we had to pretend we were watching the cricket. <laughs> uh, I wonder if that was toxic. It could have been toxic. Fuck. Um, no, look, I'm, I'm having a bit of a laugh. Uh, yeah, look, they're, they're watching what's on TV there. Um, Sheila's bloody tits and ass, and a bloke going like, yeah, with his tongue out. So, okay, yeah, I get it. The messages that we see on TV could affect us from a young age. All right, all right, all right, all right. We'll keep going. What I actually think she's trying to say making the same old oh what an asshole was he just mansplaining is that a theme as well i guess it's a type of corporate bullying isn't it the old the old mansplaining how much does that go on i mean i honestly don't know is that a bit contrived because i don't work in the corporate space i know that might come as a shock to most of you like i look very corporate and i sound very fucking corporate but um i'm just i'm not I'm not in that space. I don't know. Anyway, let's 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 go on. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. But something boys. finally. Okay, now I'm offended. I'm offended. That that was the line. There was the tipping point. 37 seconds. 38 seconds was the tipping point. Right there. That image. Why do you have to pick on blokes having a barbecue? What what like what the fuck? Like I'm really into barbecuing at the moment. I'm really into it. And my family's loving it. My missus is like, when are you smoking more shit in the fucking smoker? Like, I've got the whole firebox. I'm going, I've been going full Texas on my barbecuing. I've been thinking about making barbecue videos. So this, this offends me that you're having a dig at blokes like they're brain dead standing around their barbecue with no bloody intellectual thoughts. The barbecue, at least down under in Australia, it is a place of high, high intellect the conversations that you have while you're drinking a fucking beer and and smoking meats like bloody mark zuckerberg yeah someone asked me do i smoke meat smoking meat smoking these meats smoking meats earlier in the day those conversations those conversations are deep is what i'm saying uh, <laughs> i like my barbecuing why do you have to take a dig at barbecues fuck me anyway i'm triggered i'm getting a bit defensive uh, let's continue. Let's continue. But I see. I see now where this became contrived. <laughs> Allegations regarding sexual assault and sexual harassment. But she says and there will be no going back. Because we 
we believe in the best in men. Men need to hold other men accountable. Smile, sweetie. Come on. To say the right thing. To act the right oh, way. Bro, not cool, not cool. Some already are. In ways big. I think it's the execution that's just kind of getting clunky. That's bloody taken me in and out of it. I quite like the real documentary footage like Terry Crews and stuff like that. I get sucked into that for a second. But then the, the, the scripted footage is kind of like a student film. Like, here's what I've got to say. Here's what I've got to say about the world. Here are my themes. So it's just a bit in your face. It's a bit clunky. It's, um... It's a bit contrived when it goes in, like there's nothing wrong with the themes, there's nothing wrong with wanting to dissect masculinity or femininity and toxic femininity. <laughs> you know, there's nothing wrong with wanting to dissect all of this stuff, but um, execution is key. It's, it's, it's a bit in your face, you know, and, and this is where people always get, get pissed off, like, you know, something like the movie like The Last Jedi with its themes and people are like, ugh, you're just ramming these these themes down our throat and preaching to us, they're gonna get they're gonna get pissed off. Maybe Gillette knew it. They were like, look, let's be quiet in your face about it and we'll piss people off and that's gonna get attention. Because the internet is an attention economy. Like it's a new age economy. Economies are made up of resources that are scarce and in this day and age getting attention is scarce on the internet. So yeah, there's there's some manipulation from the marketing team going on, no doubt, where they're like, let's let's do this, kick the hornet's nest, and we're gonna get attention. And it doesn't matter if it's negative or positive or divisive, as long as you get the attention, then you're essentially successful in the new age attention economy. So yeah, but let's go on, let's go on. You see, that's that's the type of shit that I say around a barbecue, and everyone's pretty impressed with it. I'm not I'm not being like, oh look at her tits when I'm cooking a barbie. Um anyway. <clears throat> and small. I am strong. I am strong. But some is not enough. It's not how we treat each other, okay? Okay. Because the boys watching today will be the men of tomorrow. The best a man can get. It's only by challenging ourselves to do more that we can get closer to our best. Yeah, maybe. We are taking action at thebestmencanbe.org. Oh, oh, you've got a trust or a foundation, Gillette. You can spread out your profits and look like you're doing a good thing and then get a lower tax rate. <laughs> uh, tinfoil hat. Um, oh, look, the last 50 seconds or whatever is not bad. If you just start the video, if you start the ad from a minute 10 onwards, and this footage, uh, the bloke saying to his daughter, that could be a bloke saying to a daughter or a son as well, you know, I am strong, no worries. Uh, fucking guys breaking up fights. It's quite positive. If you just start the ad from there, do that as a test, it's pretty good. And then what you do is you force blokes to think about their shitty actions elsewhere on their own. Because the slogan's not bad, the messages aren't bad. Um, the best men can be. And it's, it's a good thing to strive for. And instead of being too in your face or contrived with it, we can think on our own about times we've been shitty. You can think back to a time in, in primary school or when you were a teenager where you were bullied and it didn't feel good or you were a bully and, and it didn't feel good either. And it's like, uh, that was a shitty time. I was a bit shitty back then. You know, you know. And, and when you're in your late tw teens, your early 20s and you're going out to your late tweens, when you're going out to nightclubs and you're drinking too much and you're trying to flirt with Sheila's and you're trying to pick up, you know when you've become a sex pest. You wake up the next day and it's like, oh, I think I pissed her off. That's cringeworthy. That's cringeworthy. So, you know, I mean, you live and learn. <sighs> but I don't know, life is messy, you know? Like, you just, people keep putting these messages out there as if we're not fucking animals. And, and that is why I think guys can get defensive too. Again, it's a hard thing to articulate, but it's it's kind of like, well, what do you want us to be? Are we just going to be all robots in future? You know, we're going to be like manufactured Ken dolls, and uh, there's there's just life is all glossy and perfect, and everyone's fine to one another. I don't I don't know. Like we're animals, and uh, and part of me is at peace with that, and part of me likes that. 
I like that, that we're pretty basic food, sex, sleep, you know, we're animals. We are. There's just no getting around it. But we don't have to be shit cunts because we're also civilised. And that's just common sense and live and learn and quite logical. So <laughs> maybe there's a defensive reaction because of that or something to do with that. Maybe there's a defensive reaction from blokes because they do want to remain in positions of power and they want to oppress uh, people below them or who they perceive to be below them. Maybe. Maybe, but I don't think that's a majority. I don't think so. Fuck, scary if it is. Okay, anyway, what are your thoughts? Was it, was it a good ad? Was it, I mean, they've done well getting the attention. They've got the attention. People are talking. Um, is there stuff that could have been done better? Are you angry? I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. It's interesting. Okay, well, I'm going to go fuck off and do some other things with my day. Okay, see ya. Bye. <laughs>